We uh, we just bought our uh, new truck for the RV, and this is uh, Crystal's reaction to it because she's a little intimidated that it's kind of like a baby semi truck, and she's <laughs> kind of afraid to drive it. So I'm afraid to even look at it. Look at it, yeah. Look at the comparison between the Taco and the F550. Like, see the windows are kind of like at the the door handle of the truck. <laughs> Airbag suspension on the hitch. You got the rear lights there that light up the uh, light up the back while you're backing it in. That hump, that's where the uh, the second fuel tank is. Yeah, you got big lots of storage uh, for you know just anything. The wheels, they're nice and pretty. They're 19 and a half inch wheels, and they got 10 lug nuts down there. Yeah. Oh, it's got a light on it. Yeah, the lights actually all working on it. It struts and stuff, you know. That's where you uh, fill the the uh, fuel tank. This is the spare. This has a spare tire on top of the fuel tank, and then that's where you fill the fuel tank, the second fuel tank. This is the main fuel tank right here. Okay. Got the navigation lights there. You know, they all they all light up. That's yep. That's for the compressor. He's got what twenty twenty mirrors on this thing. Yeah, this is the the front end is all like brand new stuff. Like they they. Put, he put a Harley Davidson front end on it, the the front clip. See, the grill. That's the Harley Davidson style grill. It's pretty nice. I mean, for an for a 15 year old truck, isn't it? 91,000 miles on it. 91,000 miles. I mean, this sucker isn't even broke in yet. Oh, look at all the adjustments on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god. I know. This is like a small apartment in here. Oh my god. Isn't it, isn't it pretty cool? Oh man. Wow, that's heavy. For being a console, I don't know why it's heavy. Oh, it's actually a whole other seat. Yep, whole other seat. I mean, so technically... King Round can sit here. Yeah, King Round. Four, four people and I guess two small adult child. A lot of people in here. Or a bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Switches galore everywhere. Yeah, it feels like like a entire command center. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's just a little placard it says we have an ATS transmission on it. Okay. Rated for sixty thousand pounds. It's a big boy transmission. Like it's it's way beefier than the stock transmission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the motor will probably go out before the transmission does. <laughs> Place to hide snacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this the mic? Uh, yeah, that's for the Bluetooth. Yep. Oh. Aftermarket Bluetooth. Yep. A oh yeah, sunglass. you already claimed the sunglass holder. Yep, of course. <laughs> Look at this. They even put in a nice Alpine head unit. That sucker is freaking cool. What's PowerPoint? You doing presentations in here? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it, baby. And WeatherTech floor liners. Yeah, oh yeah, the WeatherTech floor liners. You got what the air that, compressor mm -hmm. and then dump the air. Yep. Yep. And then that's it's exactly. to what monitor the air. Yep. Yep. That uh, raises and lowers the airbag suspension, which is nice on this thing. I mean, it for for being as big a truck as it is, it rides freaking smooth. Yeah, little little cubby hole. That's a that's for, that's for the head unit. <laughs> for that? <laughs> yeah. You need a remote for that? <laughs> like what's on there? Like can I watch TV or something? Yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, I, you could probably set up to watch TV if you wanted like, to. I've never seen a remote mm -hmm. to go to a head unit before. Either we're really old or we've just <laughs> been so poor or just never <laughs> been in something that's nice that had a remote to the console. I know. I still don't even quite uh, understand what this is for. I, I know. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll turn her on. Yeah, first time. <laughs> See? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my God. I can reach the pedal. I know. <laughs> She's got some burp to her. I know. Am but I driving this? Uh, you want to? Can give it a shot? You think I can back out okay? I think so. You're pretty good, sweetie pie. Yeah. You'll get used to it pretty quickly. I successfully backed up. Alrighty. So, this is the first trip 
for Crystal on the F550. We have decided to name him Chunk. Chunk. <laughs> so, he's a little chubby. That's right. But he's a hunk. He's a hunk. So his name is Chunk. <laughs> we just got to figure out a name for our RV when we get her. You know, for being as big as it is, like, stopping's not too bad. No, it, it, it stops really good. It definitely sounds like a diesel. Yeah. Watch out for the pedestrians. Otherwise, they'll turn out like bugs on the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> I think just about anything we... If yeah. we already hit something. <laughs> yeah. If we, like, if there's a deer in front of us, it's just going to explode. It, yeah. Oh, so turning is weird. Oh, <laughs> I haven't tried the horn out. I don't know if it, you th I don't know, you think it sounds manly? There's no way that this thing is going to sound like the Prius horn or anything. This thing should have some belch to it. Some belch to it. Or him. Yeah. Chunk is a him. Oh, all right, we'll, we'll try out the all horn. Right. A little disappointed about the horn. Yeah. I think we need to upgrade to a blow horn. Yeah. Well, this isn't, this isn't too bad. It's definitely wide, though. Like, it is. It's, it's wide. Seeing the mirror in my peripherals. Yeah. And, like, looking where I am on the right side of the road, like, there is not a lot of wiggle room at yeah. all. Like, this is the yeah. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, it's it's a little bit longer than Tacoma. It's really not all... I mean, if you're compared to a regular F-150, a full-size truck, it's probably not all that much longer. However, it is wide. I mean, look look how much look how much armor I got, you know, yeah. if you're to put... We don't have uh, to fight like, over the armor. Like, like I have to reach over to, to, to pull over onto this lane. Just stop. Uh, don't, don't turn in, but just stop in the lane here. You want to... Uh, you want, to, you want to punch it a little bit and, and hear the turbo? All right. Well, I, I, want to, I want to see what you... Have. I got to punch it? Yeah, because it's got a turbo, so it has turbo lag. Oh, oh. Okay, D don't go over four. <laughs> Did you hear the turbo? Yeah, that was a mad whistling. What? Matt? Yeah, it was a whistler, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah. I think it just flooded my basement a little bit. <laughs> no, I know. I, I know. I was like... This is so weird. <laughs> we just went from training wheels to straight like semi. I think it's fine. Even they like moved over. Even that truck moved over, and I wasn't even like doing anything. <laughs> I mean, check the way that truck man car. And all that. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. This you said it was a, an eight thousand pound. Eight about eight thousand. Yeah. Did, have you felt the ride? It, it's smooth. It's isn't it? That's it, what I said. I said for. For a freaking eight thousand pound truck, this the sucker actually rides pretty damn smooth. Oh, there's a little tech helmet. <laughs> he wants to carry. <laughs> Just wait until he passes and he sees other girls driving this thing. It's fun. I, I think it's fun to drive. Like I said, it's got it's got like a bigger turbo than the factory. It has a air intake. It's got a programmer chip. I mean, this sucker is really decked out, and we got it awesome prize awesome awesome prize the bigger turbo and everything is really fun <laughs> if you want to if you really want to punch it but this thing will haul like three fifth wheels before it breaks a sweat we understand it's completely overkill so before you hate me <laughs> and start you know saying really naughty things <laughs> on my on my youtube feed we know it is absolute overkill but when it comes to We fucking get it. Alright? Yeah, actually, we were trying to find a 350 no. and. It I'm, was, this was a complete accident. Yeah. I, I kind of wanted a 350, you know, for the better fuel economy, but uh, I mean, this was such a good price, it was almost cheaper to get this than a 350. I know it doesn't make any damn sense, but whatever. <laughs> I can, we could not find a single diesel under 150 freaking thousand miles. This one was 91,000 miles, which is incredible, like I said, for a 15-year-old truck, meant for hauling. It's just like, holy cow. Interior's super clean. I mean, it looks like it came off the showroom floor, essentially, you know? I'd say the only other problem that we had with this truck so far is finding insurance for yeah. it for personal use. Right. Because when you call insurance companies, 
They're like, that's a commercial vehicle. No, it's not. I'm not using it for business use. It's not for commercial. I'm not generating revenue from it. I don't have business stickers on it, but it's considered commercial because of the weight of it, which is completely ridiculous because it's just a mid-sized truck. It's not commercial. Uh -huh. But we did end up finding somebody, thank goodness, this is a personal use vehicle for our recreational vehicle that we intend on getting. That's our next milestone, but we don't know anything about the RV. Yeah, this is learning all kinds of new stuff, so I've never owned a diesel, I've never owned a commercial style truck, I've never had to deal with a fifth wheel never had an RV so I mean this is just a ton of new information for us so it, it gets frustrating because with that amount of new information there's going to be roadblocks or speed bumps you know whatever you want to call I guess until next time we'll uh, we'll see you guys